Eric, let's get into the Shane Beamer stuff. You obviously see my hat. I'm rocking the Beamer ball hat. I feel like with what Shane Beamer's doing right now, I was joking with people I might never take it off ever again. Um, but, but no, seriously. So you, it's very unique. You got to play for him. You, you got to build a relationship with him first as a player. And we all know, of course, fast forward to 2021. And like I told you, it's crazy how life comes full circle. And now he is literally the head football coach of the University of South Carolina. But first as a player, because he got there in 2007, and Steve Spurrier brought him in. Obviously, we all know his track record with special teams and all that, but to be a master recruiter as well and a guy who could relate to players. And, you know, I thought it was really interesting, Eric, when Shane got the job and I, your name was somehow brought up and maybe there was a highlight or something like that. But Shane Beamer showed off the picture he has on his desk of you and him, I think like chest bumping or, or embracing or something like that. But as a player, what was it like going and or getting to know Shane? Because obviously you had been there for a year, but somebody who, again, really touched all parts of the team. What was he like as a player? What do you remember most about Shane Beamer during your time in Columbia at the University of South Carolina? Yeah, Beamer, for one, Beamer, that's my, that's my guy. That's my guy. He, he brought the same type of enthusiasm to the scout team. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Their special teams, when it was our time to get it in, it was intense. Like he could just, I didn't even know I was, I didn't know nothing about special team, block a punt, <laughs> how to block a punt, you know what I'm saying? All, all type of stuff. Like, but I mean, cause Beamer, we just, we just had that relationship. He, he challenged you, but he challenged, he, he challenged you in the, in the, in like a, in the best way possible. Like kind of like your friend, like your, your homeboy, like, mm-hmm. like you can't go do this. I bet you won't do it. Like shit, you did it. All right, do it again. Mm. And then it's like, all right, now you got people blocking punts and doing all this stuff. And you know, Beamer, Beamer's a guy, man. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna change that culture. Mm. Crazy, like it ain't even no way to describe it. It's like I think every player that's ever played for him will pretty much say like the same thing. That he's a leader. You know what I'm saying? He's he's not one of those coaches that's it's going, he's not going to down talk to you. Mm. He ain't going to do nothing to uplift you, but he's going to coach the hell out of you. Mm. But he's going to lift you up at the same time. Mm. And, I mean, coaches like that these days, they they hard to find. I mean, uh, Coach Green was one of a kind, and I was I was happy when he got the job. Shit, I'm still happy. I hope one day they're <laughs> coaching. One day he's still there. Yeah. Just being on his staff somehow, mm. just because of the type of coach he is. And I, I know what he's going to bring in that university. And, mm. And the people that he's bringing back hmm. to help build that, like with DeMarco and Shaq hmm. Wilson and all those guys, it's like, you, you, you can't beat that. He, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's going to get it done. He might need a little time, hmm. but he's definitely going to make it happen, though. 